Hi everyone, today we're going to short review on two pairs of Oxford that I got from two different sites. And the first pair that I got was from a site called Epsol.com. And Epsol.com is a Korean website that sells shoes, clothing, accessories, and also gifts. And it came in this box right here. And the shoes are white. And when I first opened the box, I really noticed that strong synthetic leather smell and this leather is very soft and malleable which is kind of not a good thing because it doesn't keep its shape so it doesn't look that flattering it makes your foot look a lot more flat and shapeless but it's really comfortable and another problem that I have with this pair of shoes is like the way they sew it creates a rim so when you wear it it's really uncomfortable for your ankle I put a I put um, a pair of heel grippers in, but it's still not that comfortable. I think I need to put a second pair over. And the bottom is a man-made sole, which is some kind of plastic polymer, I guess. Also very flexible. And they also put a clear plastic film over the bottom, which I think kind of makes it look cheap, in my opinion. And. These shoes are in a size 37 and they're made in China. I bought them for around $31 and shipping costed around $13 so the total came to around $43. And I do think the overall price does reflect the quality of these shoes. They're okay but nothing too great about them. And the next pair of Oxford that I got was purchased from Madewell.com and Madewell.com is a new website. And they also have stores in the US and they're a sister company of J. Crew. And they came in this box and this box was in another in another box when I was shipped. And these shoes look like this. And they're actually like a light pink and also a sandy brown color right here and when I first got these shoes and opened the box I was kind of disappointed because on the website the shoes appeared to be a lot lighter the pink was kind of similar to this color but then this part was um, like a beige tone on the website so I thought it would be a lot more lighter but after talking to my sister um, I decided to keep these and not send them back I think they would work with the clothes in my closet. And I really do like these shoes. The quality is really great. You can see that the top, the upper lining is made of knee-buck leather. And the stitching is really well done. Very even. And I also really like the true tone. And I like the perforated details along the edge. Um, the bottom of the shoe, the sole, is made out of, I think, a plastic and a rubber polymer. It kind of feels like wood, but it's not quite, and it's got a stacked heel. And it's also not flexible like the other one. And on the bottom, you can see some striated marks, kind of like wood grain. And this shoe comes in a size 6, and it's made in Italy. I definitely do think these shoes are worth um, the price I paid for them. I paid around $135 and they were on sale. And since they were on sale and the purchase was over $100, I got it shipped for free and that was a big bonus. I hate paying for shipping. So overall, I'm happy with both of my purchases. They didn't meet my expectations and I think these two websites have pretty good service. It's shipped in a decent amount of time and the items went damaged. And